Hello everybody, hope you're doing great and are in the mood to learn more about a very interesting geological event that happened in Iceland about 9000 years ago, the creation of Skjaldbreiður. I'll be telling you all you need to know about Skjaldbreiður, how the mountain formed and if it'll do something in the future. So next time when you visit Iceland and see the mountain, which you will most likely do, you'll be able to look at it with much more respect and knowledge. So, let's dive right in. Skjaldbreiður is located here, in between Þingallavatn and Langjökull. It's one of the most beautiful mountains in Iceland, and I don't know if many people realize it. I know it probably doesn't look like it, but Skjaldbreiður is actually 1060 meters tall. It's just so gradual with the steepest slopes being the near vertical 8 degrees. Not quite. Overall, it's a weird mountain, and you'll quickly realize that when you start to think how it may have formed. In quick summary, most mountains in Iceland formed under the glacier that covered Iceland during the Ice Age. And when the glacier was melting and retreating, it carved out the mountain ranges we see here today. The other mountains, possess an active volcano system under them which has built them over thousands of years. Skjaldbreiður, on the other hand, wasn't formed like this. It was formed in a much more impressive way. 9,000 years ago, the glacier covering Iceland had been rapidly melting away, since the ice age was over. You can imagine that you're pressing down on a sponge. Let's have it dry. Okay, so, the sponge is Iceland and you're the glacier over it. Now lift your hand off the sponge. You can see how it rises and becomes less dense and packed. That was Iceland back then. Due to this happening so quick, it became easy for magma to reach the surface since the earth wasn't as packed as it used to be. It was during this time we saw the formation of a lot of lava shields in Iceland. And Skjaldbreiður is just that, a lava shield. Skjaldbreiður isn't just any lava shield. He's the second largest one in Iceland after Trölladingja. And I'm talking about lava shields that formed after the ice age. Despite Skjaldbreiður being so large, the eruption that produced him wasn't of any impressive explosive nature or power. Shield volcano eruptions or lava shield eruptions aren't large, but they make up for that by lasting for a very long time. In Skjaldbreiður's case, it was decades, leaving behind 20 to 50 cubic kilometers of lava. It's hard to come up with an accurate number since we don't know how the land looked during the eruptions and other lava fields have flowed over Skjaldbreiður's lava field. But anything over 10 cubic kilometers is impressive. How do we know the eruptions were small though? Well, if the eruptions were of greater size, Something comparable to Skaftareldar or Eldgjá, where the power actually matches the size of the lava field. The lava wouldn't build up into a shield, but instead flow like a river with a landscape, like it did in the Skaftareldar and Eldgjá eruptions. That's why lava shield eruptions are calm and small, with the lava mostly moving underground and slowly building up. Geldingadalir was a great example of a shield volcano but didn't last nearly as long. That is easily explained by the fact that it isn't nearly as easy for magma to reach the surface like it was during Skjaldbreiður's time. The conditions back then were just perfect for lava shields. What is similar with these eruptions is how primitive the magma feeding the eruptions was. As you probably heard, the Geldingadalir eruption was very unique due to the fact that the magma came straight from the mantle and didn't stop in a chamber to mix with other elements. That's also how all of the lava shields in Iceland had it too, with the lava being pure basalt and having low viscosity, which makes the lava field smooth and flat. This was also one of the main reasons why we thought the Geldingadalir eruption would last for possibly years. But you all know what happened. So, that's all I have to say about Skjaldbreiður in this video. I really hope you learned something new about this beautiful mountain that you now know is a lava shield or a shield volcano and was built in a single small eruption 
that lasted for more than a decade. If you have any questions or suggestions, you can put those in the comments below. I got the idea of making this a series where I go over all of the lava shields in Iceland. I just want to thank everyone who made it here. Definitely leave any speculations and questions in the comments. It's always fun to read them. Other than that, I just hope you enjoyed. I also hope to see most of you in the next video and thanks for watching.